So what are the bottles that a giant community of whiskey lovers are almost embarrassed to admit that they like? <laughs> We're talking about your guilty pleasure pours, the things that you don't usually bring into the whiskey exploration conversations, but... Wow! Whoa! Oh my god! Behind closed doors when nobody's looking, you like to pull out a bottle that is amazing, but it doesn't get the respect. Dude, that's... Fire, man. So you like it? Yeah. So I'm gonna be right there with you. My own guilty pleasure landed pretty highly in this poll too. Also, <sighs> real one, best whiskey is whiskey like to drink, but at the same time, brand is wrong because this is freaking amazing. Oh! oh. <laughs> Welcome to the Whiskey Tribe. My name is Richard Ballskin. And I have <laughs> hmm. You don't get to know we're drinking. Okay, so uh, am I close eyes? Yeah, but actually do it though. Okay. Whoa! Smells like fruit punch. Okay, I'm getting closer. Yeah, this is a Kool-Aid. Remember those Kool-Aid Man commercials? They burst through the wall? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Should we drink this and try that? You think that this gives you the power to burst through a wall? No, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's not good. No, look, look, man. Look, guilty pleasures. I get it. You should be embarrassed, though. Hey. <laughs> no, real, real, I'm kidding. You don't, you don't say that. Hey, all right, let's just okay. let's just do this. All right, so first of all, the neat pour. It's like a concentrate. It's like yeah, an this is, extract. This is tropical gummy fruit. Ready? Come on, Ice. You got a lot of work you to do. You can do this. You got so much work you to do. You can do this. It's... Still a bit much, it's so much better on the rock, so. I still don't like it, but in terms of the award for most improved. Yeah, sure. Yeah, but you're still not in the like it territory, no? No. Okay, do you have any guesses as to what this is? I don't. Crown Royal Peach. Okay, canned peach syrup that comes in those preservatives. Okay. That's what it is. Okay, have you had peach rings? The gummy ring shape? Yes. Shapes? This is peach rings. I don't even think that. Do you, by the way, have a guilty pleasure? Like, um... No, but I'll do like a... Ah! <laughs> <laughs> that didn't actually hurt that bad, but just my eyes are closed. <laughs> that was just really scary. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're not supposed to laugh this hard. It's rude. <laughs> <laughs> Get it out on the nose. Whoa! Wow! Butterscotch candy, caramel, waffle cone. Wow! 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 You getting a little bit of a like peanut butter? Sure. Buttered popcorn, like the the artificial okay, butter. Okay, I could get that more. The artificial butter on like movie yeah, theater popcorn. Yeah. It's the thickness that keeps throwing me. Okay. This, oh. oh, this is meant for ice. Dude, that yeah. turned into like a nice peanut brittle. Come on, man. This is Reese's peanut butter That's cup. actually kind of fire, dude. Reese's peanut butter what? cup. What? This is obviously still dessert whiskey. Oh, yeah. It's a good little sipper on ice. No, yeah, this is, nice. ice is mandatory. What is this? Screwball peanut butter whiskey. No way. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Have you had that? No. It's okay. interesting that it's branded as peanut butter, though. On Screw the rock, though, it shows up oh, yeah. more. It does. It's more prominent. It has to be on ice. It's not terrible. No. I wouldn't be embarrassed. All right, this is you, this is me, what do you got? Oh, why does it smell like, um, like coffee? Hmm. Like chocolate covered espresso beans. But first, let's try this in the Some neat. Smoky chocolate covered espresso beans. What? <laughs> it also tastes like coffee beans to me. That's like a, a whiskey espresso martini. Dude, that's... Fire, man. So you like it? Yeah. This is a good thing. Yes. Okay. Oh my gosh, there's nuts? Dude, there's sweet nuts in here? There's sweet and salty nuts? Are you getting the nuts? Richard Balskin, are you getting the nuts? <laughs> okay. Thank, Thank you, you, Laura. Is there enough for, uh, you want some more on there? I would sure love some more. There you go. Wow. <laughs> well, I didn't want your sloppy seconds, but 
That's all right. This is typically how most people will be experiencing the things that you're putting in your face right now. Mm. How does it compare to the neat? I kind of actually like the neat better. You like the neat better? Yeah. Oh, but that aftertaste is really good. Let me, hold on. Let's try one more for science. It's still pretty good. It pulls back so, a lot of the flavors. It leaves the coffee taste for me mm -hmm. and a little nuttiness. Yeah. Takes some of the sweet nut out and the um, like the chocolate covered part. Pretty on point with the notes there. This is Jameson Cold Brew. Get the hell out of here! Yeah, have you had this? What? No! Okay. Dude, so, sick, I didn't even know this existed. But you, Dude, that's really you're on good board. though, yeah. You're on board. Okay. I like it. I'd be embarrassed if I didn't like it. That's right. Is there another one down there? Uh, I, <laughs> Listen, it's a compliment to the chef. And That's the what a burp is. <clears throat> See? To the chef. Hey, there's a thing down here. Uh, Open my eyes. No, go away. Okay. Whoa, what the hell is that? <gasps> that smells like like fruit roll-ups or a bag of gummy bears. Yeah. Wow, that's bursting with fruit flavors. <laughs> that is just, wow. Okay, are you liking it or is it just It's nice, yeah, it's nice? it smells like juice. There, I don't get any alcohol though, oh, which yeah. is interesting. That's maybe the point. Oh, maybe strawberries, but it's like, not a real strawberry, like a candied one. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I would say it's a very, very candied pear. Okay, pear for sure as well, yeah. definitely. Like the like the pear lollipops, the dum dums. Yeah, yeah exactly. Holy sh! You got it. All right, let's try it neat, and then let's we'll put it on the rocks. Yeah, let's mouth that. Sorry. Wow! Whoa! Oh my god! That tastes like fucking bubble gum. Dude. <laughs> wow, that's sweet. That's that's too sweet. Yeah. For my preference. If I want to chase down alcoholism while strapping on some dot betas. Yeah. I think this is Yeah, a good that's form. overwhelming. This is not for me. Okay. All here right, we go. on the rocksicles. I think this is how most people are going to be experiencing what I put in this class. Okay, wow. I can already smell it in yeah. the air. And I, here's my hope that the berries, the sweetness a little bit? A little bit. It yeah. needs to, because the ice often does that. There's no has, way. The There's ice, no way. <laughs> the ice has a lot of work to do. Oh, God. Ah, it's good. <laughs> that now tastes like more cough syrupy. Yeah, um, uh, it's a thick like cough syrup too. Yeah, I hate that. I hate it. Here's the thing. Everybody in the community knows that rule number one, the best whiskey is whiskey you like, like drink, drink, you like drink it unless it's this. <laughs> Just kidding, so, sorry. No, so, if you like this, it's fine. Taste is very subjective. You're, but, you're allowed to be wrong. But the number of people who wait in who's like saying, well, you know, I'm not embarrassed about anything that I drink. You shouldn't be. That's, you shouldn't be. Also, how did it get thicker? I don't know. Crown Royal Apple. <laughs> so. This is for people who don't like whiskey at all. Well, no. And want to pretend not like necessarily. They do. Because you can like whiskey, but this is for people whenever they're not in the mood for whiskey. Okay. They want something totally different. I want candy, but I also want to be drunk. And there's mm. only so much room in my mouth right now. So let's knock out <laughs> two birds. Okay. Typical Richard Balskin. This episode is sponsored by Helix. So we always talk about my Helix, but we never talk about your Helix mattress. From your perspective, walking people through the Helix experience. It was crazy, okay? okay? Yeah. So it shows up in a box, you open it up, okay? And it's like... Like a burrito. Cylinder, like a burrito, yeah. perfect. Yeah, and then you just like, you wiggle it out of your box. You start cutting the plastic, it just like starts to grow. <laughs> It's freaking crazy. All right, so I know that you are too tiny of a human yes. to have moved this yourself. Yes, Ooh. I had my whole family on me. <laughs> and I convinced them because they've had their same mattress for I think over 10 years, yeah. but they're about ready for a new one and they're like, hmm, maybe we should go. Like, okay, it's a 100 night sleep trial. In terms of financing options, what do you got there? Flexible financing options. Nailed it. What about a warranty? Is there a warranty? 10 year warranty. What? You can have a 10 year old and be like, I warranty claim. What? <laughs> <laughs> so healingsleep.com slash whiskey, there's gonna be a sleep quiz where you're gonna put in your own specifications, like your weight side and sleeper. Height and say, I'm a side sleeper, what are you? Oh, I'm a side sleeper. You're a side sleeper? Yeah. yeah, I got the midnight lux. I got a midnight lux amongst my many <laughs> Yeah, I mix you copied me? I mix, no, I had it before you. Oh, you get you get different ones. Yeah, I do, yeah. I mix and match. 
Why? Because of all of the women that I sleep with, oh my God. they have different preferences. Wow. So it's gonna come to your box. <laughs> it's gonna come to your box. My stable of women. <laughs> <laughs> so, stable. What do you collect? Whiskey? I collect. Where are we? So you're gonna go to helixsleep.com slash whiskey to get up to 25% off for their Labor Day sale, plus two free pillows. Don't. Oh, sorry. Why? Well, I... Put your hands down. I'm sorry. You don't need to have your hands ah. up. This is not part of the process. Okay. All right, open your eyes. All right. Uh, is this Fireball? Okay, <laughs> let's get the... Uh... <laughs> For people that like Fireball, yeah. if there are also people that like chewing big red gum, mm -hmm. I totally get it. This pour is so thick. Gosh, Damn, it's, that's a, a lot. it's a slurry. Can you see this? You see that? That's pretty sick. Like see that, that slurry? It looks cool, yeah, but when you realize you're about to put that in your mouth. Yeah, it's a thing. There is a bit of nostalgia. Oh my that gosh. Cinnamon hot candy you had as a kid. Yeah. Ready to go in? Yes. It's actually a little better on the ice. Yeah, it's a little better in the ice, um, but again, it's just overwhelmingly sweet. It's very sweet. Look away. Are you about to spit it back out? You swallow it. You swallow it right now. Okay. All right, let's just move on. No, swallow it. Here, let me hold that for you. Swallow it. No, don't take the water. Don't. Oh, God, ah. Oh. Are you chasing it? Okay, that's fair, that's fine. Ew. Oh! Uh, <laughs> ew. That was disgusting. <laughs> oh, eh. <laughs> ew, I look at that and I just go. <laughs> so it's... What? Yes. I can't look at people who fake throw up. <laughs> Open your eyes okay. on the neat board there. Hmm. It's a funky smelling one. Mm -hmm. It smells more like a whiskey than any of the other ones we smelled. Yeah. What notes are you getting? Smoky. It smells a little peaty, actually. Like um, a youngerish Isla, perhaps? What? Oh my gosh! Holy s! I'm getting good at this, you guys. So Art Beg Wee Beastie. The MBs voted this up just to, you know, troll the poll. Uh, they didn't even specify the Wee Beastie. They said just Art Beg. Yeah, what do you think? That's the best one in the lineup, yeah. that's for sure. You, you nailed the category in the, in the age. It's not annoying at all. <laughs> Oh. oh, what the fuck? Oh, you guys. Hey. My eyes are watering. I don't want to look at you. <laughs> Just right. <laughs> Whoa. People are going to start doing this to me in the tasting room. Oh, they totally are. Hey, Brianna, how was Scotland? <laughs> <laughs> All right, keep your eyes closed. Makes me want to open them, though. Nah, don't do that. All right. Very sweet. It, uh, yes, 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 here's the thing. I'm almost <laughs> a little embarrassed to like it, but I'm not. This is your guilty pleasure. It is, it is my guilty pleasure. <laughs> you know the, the, the caramelized sugar, the caramelized sugar of a, a creme brulee? Cr yes, yes. Yeah. A little raspberry, blueberry little garnish. Blue, little blue. I feel like I smell just the hints of those fruits. Yeah. But mostly the glass of the creme brulee. You should feel bad. You know what? You don't get it. I think I'm fine with that. That really hurts me. <laughs> <laughs> that got better on ice. It did. That got way it better. was already good. It now was, it's amazing. It was bad. Now it's fantastic. And now it's okay. Better. Okay. This should be called Crown Royal Creme Brulee. It's Crown Royal Salted Caramel. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. The colder it gets, the better it gets. Okay. Try it now. Okay. I can't just say this is bad. It's not bad. This is amazing. You're good. Yep. It's good. Why? <laughs> the higher my elbow is, That's the, the better it is. The more truth I'm telling. Did you know that everybody in the office today said that I sing as good as Mariah Carey? Yeah, what's your favorite Mariah Carey song? I really only know her Christmas songs. Go ahead. <laughs> you can auto tune that for me. <laughs> 
Oh, I think I hit that one. <laughs> oh, dude, I crushed it. Okay, we got another carameler. So this for me is um, Christmas caramels. Mm. A lot of times the nuns make them, the nuns. Oh, that's right, you, you were Catholic. I grew up Catholic, yeah. There's like a fruitiness that I wasn't expecting. Oh yeah, there's like a like a red apple on there. Like a caramel covered ap red apple now. Mm -hmm. Are you ready? Yeah. It didn't change much, it just got colder. That is interesting. I don't know what the other flavors are. I'm curious. Knob Creek. Okay. So bourbon's very common, but this is the smoked maple. Oh. I'm not finding smokiness. The maple, like I can see some maple in there. I get Mrs. Butterworth a little bit. It the, smells like fake maple. Mm. Well, I'm sure that it is, I doubt it. Like I, overly corn syrup maple? I doubt they put real natural maple syrup in there. What if they did and you're saying that they didn't? No, well, then I can be wrong on the internet, That's... which has never happened before ever. Right. I wonder this, though, if this would be good with like pancakes. Would you do this instead of the syrup or you're I doing pour the- Pour it on your pancakes? Yeah. Cheers. So how good are they? Ain't that much. Not that's, all of it. That's true, you were kind of, yeah. you kept going back in. So the thing that I like about this, it's still recognizably whiskey, definitely. even though you still, yeah. you know, there's definitely flavor. Yeah. But it's not getting so heavy handed with like the other stuff. Yeah. Oh, by the way, do you like this or no? I wouldn't say I like it or dislike it. So this final number one, most voted up guilty pleasure, the thing that the Magnificent Bastards are almost embarrassed to like was very, very interesting because by a wide margin in the poll, they said that this was something that they're not too keen on sharing with many people. Put your nose in that, we'll talk about it. It's just, it's so subtle compared to the other ones. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. I don't really get that much. Do, do the hand thing then. Okay, well, they're kind of sticky. That smells like, that just smells like the, um, So comparatively, we did have the most potent, sweet, concentrated. Yeah. Some of these are almost like an extract version of a drink in a glass. And now we're having something that's pretty dang subtle in comparison. Mm -hmm. Sweet corn and hay. Oh, interesting. Sweet corn and hay. Mm. Sweet corn and hay. Sweet corn and hay. I don't mind it. There we go. Oh, thanks. Number one result, should people feel bad or ashamed? No. That's what I'm saying. I think it's fine. I think it's absolutely fine. Jameson, the stout cask. What That's the hell? That's the stout cask? That's the stout cask. So it's Jameson with a little bit of like a creamier texture. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I'm, I've am i always wanted to try this. I you haven't, haven't tried, tried this? it. And I'm oh. kind of disappointed actually. My favorite beers are stouts and porters. Oh yeah, yeah. Those and are, so okay. people talk about this all the time. The stout edition, I'm like, gosh, that sounds so good. Okay, if you are cool with Jameson, that really light touch of like the vanilla, a little shortbread, this adds a creamy layer to that classic Jameson feel. So it's still squarely Jameson. Jameson's not gonna like beat you over the head with like yeah. intense, rich flavors. It's not over the top, but it's nice. It's hard to not like it. It's almost so simple that it becomes boring if you're really into whiskey. Hmm. But the stout cask does add a recognizable creamy layer. It's not bad, but it's yeah. not what I was hoping it would be. I guess I was just expecting more of the traditional stout flavors to come through. Mm, and okay. I'm just not really getting that. Oh, yeah. So. Oh, I think the reason why this was voted number one, yeah. Jameson is one of these entry level bottles that very often people leave behind. Right. Even in Irish, and like the Powers Johns Lane and the Red Breast, and then you know they got the Teelings and the various spots from Middleton. Um, and then you can get into like other categories, other countries and whatnot. But very often the thing that gets you into whiskey is something <clears throat> that you almost feel obligated to disrespect because well that's what I had whenever I didn't know any better. Okay. This is not. Yeah. This is. I feel like there's a conspiracy at Jameson. What's going on? I think the workers are crying for help. 
through the label. Oh, because... Do they make them carry the barrels on their backs like that? I, I don't, hold on. I've been to Middleton. They're lovely people. I can tell you that they have so much money that nobody's ever carrying anything heavy ever. Blink twice if you need help. I can't say he was on. <laughs> I got the message and I can do nothing about it. My name is Richard Balsam. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for sharing. You guys are awesome. You know what's next? In the comments, if you got a guilty pleasure for something that you think a lot more people should give a chance, let's see it. Cheers.